UMass Boston men's basketball at home for their final non-conference game of the regular season, taking on Westfield State University for the first time since the 1998 season. These two teams would go back and forth in this one, and early on it would be three-pointers for the Beacons as Emmanuel Zayas nails a three to give the Beacons an early 3 nothing lead, and then Mariano Olivier Rodriguez helps tie the game up at eight with a three of his own from the left side, and then the Beacons would go on an 11-2 run that would see them take the lead for good. However, this was a back-and-forth battle no matter what the scoreboard says at the end of the day as you see Xavier McKenzie hitting a three from the top of the key to give their Beacons a 13 to 10 lead and then Malik Lorquette another masterful day for the senior who had six points during this run working against some tall owl defenders making magic happen in the paint yet again as you see the final points of his six point performance during this run on the reverse layup his patented move right there to help put the Beacons ahead by seven and then Bobby Joy finishing off the run with a quick layup to the right side. Beacons up by nine early on, and then a dunk contest for both sides as Kumar Brown kicks it off with a dunk for the Owls on the offensive. And then Laura Kett with two electrifying slams of his own right here, the two-handed jam on the left side. And then a little while later with the Beacons up by just one, a steal from Laura gets it over to Xavier McKenzie who gets it back to Laura The one-handed jam goes down the Beacons in control by three. And then they'd cap off the first half with two free throws. Part of an 8-0 run as Manny Zayas hits a three right there. And then Xavier McKenzie with the shot clock winding down. Nothing but net. The Beacons go up 47-39 heading into the locker room. And then kicking off the second half, Mariano Olivia Rodriguez hitting a three. Beacons up by 11. They lead by as many as 12. And then Lorquette with his third dunk of the game right there puts the Beacons ahead by five. But the Owls would not go away as you see Kumar Brown on this electrifying alley-oop brings Westfield State within 1.58-57. But the sharpshooters for the Beacons came alive. Xavier McKenzie, six points on this 8-0 run for UMass Boston. Made it look like the Beacons would be in control and take this game handily. But that would not be the case as you continue to see them working on this run with Mariana Olivia Rodriguez getting that put back. And then McKenzie capping off the run with that sixth point of the run. Right here, you see him at the top of the free throw line nailing that jumper, and the Beacons are up by nine. But JT Thompson, a 7-0 run on his own. Some tough shots for Thompson that the Beacon defense were not making it easy for him to score, but somehow Thompson getting him to fall. And just like that, he brings his team back within two, and it seems like UMass Boston might be on the rocks here, but... Emmanuel Zaya is hitting a big three-pointer. He had four fouls in the game. Hits the three right there. Makes it a five-point game with just under three minutes to go. And then Xavier McKenzie says good night to the Owls with that layup and one opportunity. The Beacons win this one by 11, 85-74. Malik Lorquette, his ninth double-double of the season. He finishes with 29 points and 17 rebounds on 11 of 18 shooting. Xavier McKenzie, 25 points on 9 of 13 shooting. The Beacon shoot 52.6% from the floor, 40% from three-point range. They take on Rhode Island College at 3 o'clock p.m. on Saturday at home.